Hi everyone and welcome to OEM Update where we talk about everything you need to know about this year's vehicle model lines in order to better sell them. My name is Megan Cusack, editor of Motorcycle and Power Sports News, and today we're going to be talking about the 2024 Royal Enfield Himalayan 450. The Himalayan 450 is Royal Enfield's adventure upgrade from its original Himalayan 411 and boasts a base MSRP of $5,799. So, Let's dive deeper into what exactly this new adventure bike has to offer. But for that, we're going to go straight to the OEM source. Joining me today to give us an overview of the 2024 Himalayan 450 is Nathan Colby, Head of Marketing for the Americas Regions at Royal Enfield. Nathan, thank you so much for jumping on to speak with us today. Hey, thanks so much for having me on. Absolutely. All right. So can you start out by giving us a brief introduction to the 2024 Himalayan 450? For instance, you know, what types of customers are looking for this vehicle? Yeah, absolutely. So we're really excited about the introduction of the Royal Enfield uh, Himalayan 450, as there are a lot of enthusiasts with the you know, original Himalayan 411 that we introduced, you know, five, six years ago. And although there was so much great, you know, um, response from um, from that motorcycle, and it really developed into a, uh, a movement, a very iconic motorcycle, not just for Royal Enfield, but in the industry as one that, you know, really allowed folks that wanted to get off road and explore whether you know, super experienced off-road riders or those just getting started. It was, you know, part of that Royal Enfield DNA of being super accessible from a rideability standpoint, also a price standpoint. So, you know, although that that was a great starting point for us, you know, there were in in light of continuous improvement and customer feedback and and also our own, you know, in, internal feedback inputs and development and engineering. We were striving for something that that next iteration, that next evolution of the Himalayan could really cater to. And so for us, you know, the power is there. And that's a that's a double meaning, right? Because the 450 Himalayan uh, uses a brand new engine platform, the Sherpa 450, which is Royal Enfield's first liquid cooled engine. So that delivers almost twice the horsepower as the original um, and is actually the, the bike in total is six pounds lighter. So um, there's quite a bit of development um, within the, the engine, the suspension. Um, we've also added a, um, a TFT tripper dash as well for navigation and also just a really cool um, user-friendly display for while you're riding. And all of those, you know, new pieces in development are on this Himalayan 450. And we're super proud of what that does for the rider and, you know, the enthusiasts, but also folks that maybe have not ridden the original, right? And, and maybe don't even know about Royal Enfield. This is a great bike for those that maybe are just getting started with off-road um, or thought about off-road, but hey, the bikes I see out there are big and heavy. I don't know if I can handle it. Um, you know, I've only ridden on road the whole time. This is a great bike to get started. But what we found also, and you know, from either internal riders within Royal Enfield, but also media and, and consumers as well, is that even if you're a super experienced rider, this motorcycle can take you places that other motorcycles really can't because it's so nimble, it's so agile, it's so versatile, and so easy to ride that now you start to aspire, where can I go next, right? That I haven't been already. And this motorcycle for a lot of folks will get them places that they've never been before. And that really is the spirit of the Himalayan and you know, Royal Enfield from, a, um, you know, from an exploratory and discovery standpoint. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. And uh, you know, speaking of like all those, you know, the new features like the new engine and everything, um, you know, are there are there any other ways that you know this bike differs from its predecessor, the original Himalayan? Yeah, so 
so like I said, the 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 horsepower uh, metrics before, so it's going to be um, around 40 um, horse versus the original was about 24. Um, like I said, six pounds lighter. And also what's great is not only, you know, the, the engine delivering from, you know, from a low end um, torque and horsepower standpoint, but also the top speed, you know, there's, there's some, some very credible sort of cr criticisms of, hey, love this bike off-road, it can get me where I want to, meaning the original Himalayan 411. But in terms of touring, in terms of getting on the highway, inter inter um, state speeds, right? Passing power on the highway, eh, it didn't quite get us there. You know, folks would, would kind of tell us that, hey, 70 miles an hour, maybe 75, you start to feel a little bit like you've maxed out. Well, that's all changed here with the new Himalayan uh, 450 and the and the Sherpa liquid cooled engine. Um, I, I can't necessarily um, speak to a, a a fully tested top speed, but you know from our from our launch last month in in Utah, um, there's folks that um, that came back saying that you know uh, 90 95 maybe above that was was no problem. So. What we were, we weren't trying to necessarily hit a top speed metric, right? But we did want to deliver for for consumers on that challenge and and that opportunity, right? Of making sure that this Himalayan, from start to finish, right? If I walk out out of my um, out of my front door here, go to my garage, pick out the Himalayan 450, and I have this awesome adventure and uh, and you know to an iconic place in mind, right? That's that's off road somewhere but it's two, three hours away. Now I have the confidence that the Himalayan 450 can get me all the way there, right? It's not that I need to trailer it. It's not that I need to, you know, bring it along. Somebody else needs to bring it along with me, right? Start to finish, I can pack it up and I can go. I can pass trucks. I can pass other vehicles on the highway as, as needed on the interstate and get to my destination. And then when I'm ready and I want to go off road on gravel, on dirt, on, you know, in, in rocks um, and climb, uh, it's the same motorcycle. So, you know, we're really excited about that in terms of the engine per performance. And also the uh, suspension is, is, uh, is upgraded as well quite a bit. So we have, um, uh, you know, vers versus telescopic and in, in the original, we have um, USD front suspension with, um, with Showa. So um, really proud of what how that performs as well. And then, yeah, the, the tripper was was not available. We went from analog to digital on, you know, on the dash uh, standpoint. Um, so those are the three major differences. And I'm sure you'll ask about, you know, price at some point here, but, um, you know, as, as you kind of add up all of those totals, right, um, you kind of feel like, okay, well, they've really upgraded this bike, but really it's, it comes down to a $350 difference. So um, wow. from the original, that's it. That is that is all. So there's quite a bit of speculation that we'd be needing to go up 20, 30% and that that would be understandable. But, you know, we worked really hard, um, not only on the development, but also making sure that Royal Enfield and the Himalayan maintain that accessibility from a price point perspective because ultimately we want to bring more people into the sport of motorcycling, whether on road or off road. All right. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. Now, you know, so uh, obviously Royal Enfield is, I would say more known for like your cruiser style motorcycles and everything. And then you guys, you know, a few years ago went into the dual sport world with the uh, Himalayan 411. And so now you're in the adventure bike world. And so given that this is kind of outside your normal wheelhouse there, uh, how have customers been responding to this or dealers or, you know, anyone who's seen the new Himalayan? I would say, you know, across our portfolio, it's it's getting really, really well-rounded. You know, 10 years ago, we had one motorcycle model available in North America, right? And now we have 11. And that growth has been astounding, right? And And has been supported by a growing dealer network, a growing customer base, a growing community of Royal Enfield riders and enthusiasts in North America, still plenty of room to grow for sure. But, you know, going from one to 11 and going from selling, you know, zero up to, you know, the 
um, the volume that we have today. It's it's been it's been awesome to see, and so yeah, I, I think in in our history globally as a as a company, sure we've we've had you know the the bullet has been you know the the Royal Enfield sort of um, you know iconic model globally, especially in India, right, and and also in in the UK where the British roots began, but. You know, I, I think that that all really changed with the original Himalayan 411. Then it became, hey, you guys are doing something very different, right? And you are now globally even more accessible than you were before. You've kind of redefined that venture category because you came out with a super versatile, um, super easy to use machine that is you know, that provides a ton of value from a pricing standpoint too, right? So I think that that, in, especially in North America, that really gave us a lot more credibility and made us stand out from maybe some of the crowded cruiser uh, OEMs and, and that marketplace as well. Um, you know, I think that our, our 350 models in, um, in, in that space, right, are, are pretty unique as well. The, uh, the Meteor, the Classic um, with all that, Cool retro styling and and again affordable price points and then at the upper end we've um, we've extended into the cruiser space like you mentioned in in our 650 twin platform with the INT the GT and now recently Super Meteor and Shotgun so we've we've developed at that at that um, you know low end of middle weight the high end of of middle weight and then yeah in between is this adventure uh, you know dual sport category like you mentioned and I think for us in North America, that's been maybe a stickier connection point than any other model we've had is the Himalayan. You know, there are folks that come up to us at events, right, industry events where they may not know that much about Royal Enfield, but they see that Himalayan, you know, in our demo fleet or on display and they say, oh, you guys are the ones that do the Himalayan, right? Or, hey, Royal Enfield, uh, do you have the do you have the latest Himalayan? So. You know, it's it's been really exciting to see, and I think there's been a lot of great anticipation since the global launch in in Manali in India last October. Um, so we're we're super excited about the the 450 arriving, and the response has been terrific so far. We had a um, we had a a pre order opportunity as well, um, sold through colors, sold through our initial allotment of of units that um, that were available of the 450. So yeah, response has been terrific, and we're really, really proud of the uh, motorcycle. That's fantastic. We we love to hear that people are excited about these things. Now, so speaking of you know the pre-orders and and dealers and everything, what is Royal Enfield doing to help dealers move these new units? Yeah, I think it's um, <laughs> the the nice problem is we we don't have to do too much so far. Um, the the demand has been terrific. Um, like I said, the pre-orders with deposits have been, um, you know, they exceeded expectations from from both ourselves and dealers. So, really, what are we what are we doing to help dealers? We need to push on our end to get more units produced. Actually, you know, and then also from a dealer perspective, right? You only have so much room on your floor. So we, within our full lineup, right, are um, making sure we have competitive uh, financing and um, and also uh, terms on. You know, models that maybe are not the latest, right? Older, older um, model years um, to make sure that dealers have room to, um, you know, to make space for the new Himalayan and our other new models as well. So really, it's about transitioning as we continue to develop our portfolio and make sure that, you know, we're helping our dealers maintain um, proper inventory levels that allow them to be profitable, efficient, and also be stocking the latest and greatest for consumer demand. All right. Now, recently, Royal Enfield announced a new touring program. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah. So we introduced earlier in the year Royal Enfield Rentals and Tours, and it's a digital platform that allows touring and rental operators to really interact seamlessly with our, um, you know, with enthusiasts and, and um, prospective customers of Royal Enfield, right? So we're you know we're really excited about that that platform right that that connects operators with consumers through royal enfield fleets but specifically with the royal enfield himalayan 450 what does that do 
that really allows us now to put a super capable motorcycle, what we would say is probably the most the most capable motorcycle in terms of uh, epic rides and and in iconic destinations around the world, right? So now we have the ability with the Himalayan 450 to put consumers in uh, in places that maybe they wouldn't have been able to go before, or that wouldn't have been as comfortable, um, or you know, as or as far reaching as as prior. So the Himalayan 450 is really the catalyst. It's the it's the showpiece of our Royal Enfield Rentals and Tours. Uh, platform and allows us to put um, or offer, you know, these experiences, these unforgettable experiences around the world um, for people in, um, you know, in more places and uh, and build that confidence, right? That I can ride anywhere that that I really want to ride. Um, so that's that's what it's all about is inspiring that confidence and and making those iconic, uh, you know, experiences more accessible to more people around the globe. Last question for you. What are some of the most popular accessories for the Himalayan? Yeah, we have a we have an adventure touring kit that yes, it, it kind of takes that adventure touring, you know, aspiration and capability on the motorcycle to the next level. So as you've probably seen too, right? The and as I mentioned, the Himalayan 411, right, was iconic from from where it was in the in the marketplace from a you know, capability and from a price point standpoint, but also from an aesthetic, right? Because you kind of had this nice rugged feel to it, like it was going to take you anywhere you wanted to. It was just going to keep, you know, um, being, you know, dependable uh, along any terrain you had, right? And then you put the the side box panniers on there, right? And then there's kind of this you know, really cool, rugged look, right? That in in the marketplace. So the adventure touring kit has those side boxes that have been, you know, really, really coveted uh, over the last five, six years on the original. So we have those plus a top box. So that will add to it within this adventure touring kit. Uh, also includes engine guards, bike cover. So, you know, really those essentials and, you know, from going you know, in the in the starting space of five thousand eight hundred dollars, roughly on, um, you know, the the intro colorway for the Himalayan, this adds on about two thousand dollars. So you're fully accessorized on a an amazing motorcycle with, you know, uh, TFT Tripper Dash with upgraded Showa suspension, with a liquid cooled four hundred and fifty engine that gets you passing power and double the horse almost from where you were before, um, and you're still around seven thousand dollars all in. So we're again super proud of that. Still comes with our industry leading three year warranty, um, roadside assistance. So yeah, that from an accessory standpoint, the adventure touring kit is, I, I think, you know, the the most coveted right now. And you can now. This is this is new recently. We do have a three D accessory configurator on our uh, website, RoyalEnfield.com. And with the Himalayan 450, you can actually just choose that adventure touring kit and it will deck it all out for you on screen there so you can see it in, in 3D style. Yeah, it always helps when you can visualize it, you know, from anywhere, making that accessible, either seeing it in person in dealerships or online where yeah. most people are starting the journey nowadays. So, Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, it's tough. Otherwise, it, it's kind of, you know, you you, you kind of are, are trying to piece it all together, right? It's puzzle pieces, but you're right. If you can see it all together, both online and in dealership, that uh, I think that seals the deal for a lot of people. Absolutely. Well, it's been a pleasure speaking with you, Nathan, and thank you so much for taking the time today to talk with us about the 2024 Royal Enfield Himalayan 450. Hey, thanks so much for having me. For more information about the bike or to become a Royal Enfield dealer, head to royalenfield.com. And as always, stay tuned to MPN for more of the latest and greatest in motorcycle and power sports news.